How you all doing today? It's CJ here, and um, this is a second uh, video. It's going to show you how to turn your articles into uh, fantastic videos that you can upload to YouTube. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, show you how to make slides using OpenOffice and Press, uh, and turn those slides into a video movie uh, with uh, music and that you can upload to YouTube. This is a way to get a lot more exposure uh, for your articles. First step is going to be to uh, open up OpenOffice and Press. Uh, if you don't have OpenOffice, it's free. All you have to do is uh, do a search engine search uh, for download OpenOffice. It's about 150 megabytes. Comes with a word processor and uh, spreadsheet. This is Impress. This is the uh, kind of the uh, Open Office version of PowerPoint. Uh, we're going to need empty presentation. Click Next. You're going to click Slide here. Click Create. And we're ready to uh, put our article to slide. All right. Um, now what I like to do is I like to. You'll have to get used to uh, open office and press uh, it's actually a little bit different than PowerPoint but it's very easy uh, what I like to do is to kind of set myself up with a gradient background and how you do that is you just go to uh, like I did format uh, page setup uh, and come over here to background click on gradient uh, and I always like to use this ellipsoid blue gray slash light blue gradient and what's gonna happen is click yes here what's gonna happen is all your slides going to have this nice uh, gradient blue background, okay? Um, now, you're also going to need to choose layout uh, so that you can put your text. I just choose the regular center text layout because all I do is add my text in the middle. Now, I have an article here that I've written ready to go, okay? First slide I'm going to uh, create is obviously going to be the title slide. Uh, you want to go ahead and paste in your text. Now you can go ahead and change the font. Um, I usually like to use a uh, white colored font, okay? Looks good with this background and try to choose something thick. It's up to you. I have a lot of fonts on my computer but you can pick anything you want. Um, I'm gonna give this uh, Franklin Gothic Heavy. I'm kinda partial to that. Um, it really shows up well. And I'll just uh, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's slide number one. Now I'm only going to create a few slides. Um, you're going to come over here to your left, click copy. Copy the slide, okay, click paste. Make sure it's set to after. Click OK. What that's going to do is just set you up with another slide here, okay. It's going to have the same thing on that the first slide has on, but all you're going to have to do is go ahead and, and change the text. So I'm going to grab the first paragraph of my article. You can put... Uh, whole paragraphs, you can put sentences, bullet points, uh, however you want to set your article up is fine. Okay, That's slide number two. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Make three slides here. Copy, paste. Okay, and grab the second paragraph of my article. And that'll be my third slide. Okay, now I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do all the slides here. This article would probably have 18 to 20 slides, but for time purposes I'm going to create three. Now, um, you can't, uh, oh, Windows Movie Maker, program that we're going to use to make the videos, uh, won't accept uh, an open office and press file as a format. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to turn these slides into images. And a lot of people think that that's a complicated thing to do, but it isn't. All right, you're going to follow these steps. You're going to create a folder new folder can be anywhere I usually put mine on my desktop and I'm going to title it slides okay now in order to turn these slides into images you are going to come over here and click file export okay and over here you're going to choose a uh, save as type you're going to choose the first very first uh, choice it's HTML document okay you're going to title it, whatever you want to title it, I'm going to call it uh, article. And make sure that uh, you save it to the folder you just created on the desktop so you can find it. Alright, click save. What's going to happen is, it's going to, this uh, little box is going to come up, this export box. 
just going to click create. Now what happened there is all of our slides have been saved to this uh, folder that we created okay as images and they've been saved as PNG images which are uh, which which are accepted by Windows Movie Maker all right uh, all of this HTML files here um, are the text and the images but you just ignore them you don't need them okay the only thing you're concerned about is these three here or these images and and they will uh, be they'll start with IMG so you'll know and it'll be a, like I said a PNG image okay okay now that you've got your slide saved we're gonna open up Windows Movie Maker and you're gonna import those as pictures so you're just gonna click import pictures and find your your file with slides and there you go there's all three of your slides there's your uh, images that we just converted okay these are the slides that we just made and they were converted into images just go ahead and hold down control select them all click import and it's gonna import all these slide files into Windows Movie Maker now if you saw the video that I created yesterday um, you'll know how to uh, create how to turn your articles into a video it's very simple all right I'm going to select all of my slides and I'm gonna go ahead and drag them down into my storyboard here video that's gonna drag all of the uh, slides down into the storyboard now don't worry if this is a little blurry uh, it's just the way Windows Movie Maker is it's not gonna affect the final product okay if I close the screen up a little bit it would sharpen up but I like to have it a little wide so I can see my presentation now here are my slides down here they are all in order you can always arrange them in the order that you want to arrange them in uh, if you want to uh, they're set to show for five seconds apiece okay um, if you have one that's longer like this one and you want to extend the viewing time and slide you're just gonna come down here to uh, click on the end of it to get this double red arrow here and pull it you can change the duration I just changed that to uh, 10 seconds all right want to add music to your slide you uh, can import some royalty free, free clips or uh, music that you created just don't use copyrighted music I'm just gonna click import audio uh, and I'm going to uh, go to my um, file with all my music clips and let's grab a clip here and import it into the collection board go ahead and drag the clip down into the audio and music and the storyboard and you want to kind of scoot it over like that so it starts at the beginning of the slide now we got a problem here the clip is longer than the article actually isn't a very big problem okay because you're gonna just grab the clip at the end and scoot it down so that it matches up with the end of your slide it's very very simple now you don't want the music to stop abruptly so you right click it click fade out good to go so now we have our article slides that we created in open office we have our um, music clip that we added okay and we can add some effects now um, and some transitions let's say I want my uh, slides to go to change this little checkerboard effect okay so that's what will happen in between each um, slide so I'll go ahead and slide that down in between the slides that I want it to transition from very easy okay so now let's uh, check that out Let's see how how the uh, whole slide, how the whole presentation is going to play. Now you probably can't hear that music in the background, but it is playing. Um, and as you can see, the uh, slides are changing with the effects that I chose. Okay, very simple, very easy to do. Um, now let's turn it into a movie that we can upload to YouTube. This is also very easy. You're going to click on Save to My Computer. Uh, this box is going to come up and you're going to go ahead and put a title in whatever you uh, want to call your article I'll just leave it movie and here's where you're going to pick where you want to save it I'll save it to my desktop click next this is very important okay um, I usually choose best quality for playback on my computer okay um, you want to make sure that you have a, a 640 by uh, 480 pixel uh, set up here um, because that's the best uh, upload for YouTube. This is the best uh, output for YouTube. All right, so you can click uh, Best Quality for Playback on my computer. Click Next, and it's going to turn these slides into a movie. 
doesn't take very long uh, depending on the length of your uh, article that's what will uh, determine how long the conversion process is uh, two minute article usually takes uh, anywhere between uh, two and three minutes to convert uh, it works very quickly so we're almost done here and once we finish we're going to click finish and we're going to watch our slideshow. Okay, and that's that's all there is to it. Okay, um, you'll have to get you know uh, in tune with how to use Impress and how to use uh, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, but that's really all you have to do. Um, I the video yesterday I, I used Windows Paint to create the slides, uh, but today I just decided to use uh, Open Office Impress. Um, it's very very simple. All right, very easy to use. Uh, I recommend you giving this a shot. Um, let me show you an article that uh, I just did that I uploaded to YouTube. Okay, and here's what it's going to look like. Once it gets ready to play here, this is here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but you get the picture. This is very, very, uh, you know, very effective. I like to set them to music just because I think that people want to listen uh, more than they want to hear some robot reading article. This is free to do. A lot of these websites out there, like uh, Article Video Robot, they charge you like 30, 40 bucks a month. You don't need to pay that. You can get this all done for free. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Get a lot of great exposure for your article, so go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks very much for watching.